Now let's start off by making a magic ring. Leave a long or short tail and then wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. And then insert your hook into the loops. Pull the second loop to the front and twist it. And make two chains. One and two. Yarn over and pull through the loop and you got one chain. Now let's start round one. For round one, you will have to make 10 half double crochets. For half double crochets, yarn over here, yarn over like this, and then insert your hook into the ring, pull the yarn, pull up the loop, and now you got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops, and you got one half double crochet. So repeat making half double crochets until you have 10 in total. Now I finished making 10 half double crochets and then after that pull the tail of the ring and the ring will be closed. And to end this round, make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. Find the second chain of the chain 2 that you made at the beginning of round 1 and then after that make a slip stitch into the second chain. And for round 2, make 2 chains first. And then after that, make half double crochet increase in every stitch. So for the half double crochet increase, you will have to make two half double crochet in every stitch. So now I made one half double crochet and to make an increase, make another one in the same stitch. And that becomes an increased stitch. So repeat making two half double crochets into every stitch. And when you reach the start point, there will be a total of 20 half double crochets There will be a stitch left after 20 half double crochets, but don't worry just skip it and make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2 To start round 3, make 2 chains again and for round 3, you will have to make 1 half double crochet into the first stitch and then an increase stitch into the second stitch. For the increase, you will have to make 2 half double crochets together into the same stitch. You will have to repeat this pattern for 10 times. So after this increase stitch, make a half double crochet into the next stitch and then an increase stitch into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern for 10 times and you will get a total of 30 half double crochets. Again, there might be a stitch left after 30 half double crochets. Don't worry, just skip it and make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. And then after that, let's start round 4. For round 4, you will have to make 2 chains first and then make a half double crochet each in the next two stitches so make one half double crochet in the first stitch and also just one half double crochet into the second stitch but in the third stitch we'll have to make an increased stitch so make two half double crochets together in that stitch and then after that you will have to repeat this pattern which is two half double crochet these two half double crochets mean one half double crochet each in the next two stitches and then after that make an increased stitch into the third stitch repeat this pattern for 10 times and you will get a total of 40 stitches don't forget to make a slip stitch when you reach the start point point. 
and then after that for round five make two chains first this time make one half double crochet in the next three stitches so here one two and three and then after that make an increased stitch into the fourth stitch so you will have to repeat this pattern for 10, 10 times which is three half double crochet and an increased stitch Repeat this until you reach the third point and you will get a total of 50 stitches. And then when you reach the third point, don't forget to make a slip stitch. Before moving on to the next step, use your white yarn and repeat round 1 to round 5 of this pattern. And then after that, chain 1 and cut the yarn. And also weave in the ends. And when you finished weaving the ends, I will show you how to sew these two pieces together. So here this is the round side. Put the round side inside like this. And then let's start sewing these two pieces together. Insert your hook into the loop. And then make a slip stitch. On the white part. And then after that insert your hook into both stitches of the blue part and the white part so here like this insert both stitches like this and then make a slip stitch so what you have to do is you will have to make slip stitches all around this piece but you will have to stop making slip stitches when there are only 15 stitches left because we will need an opening to put your small accessories inside so when there are only 15 stitches left don't continue making the slip stitches we will cut the yarn and hide the tail inside the pouch and then after that the main body for the wheel is finished now we will move on to making the small parts of the wheel Now let's make the tail of the wheel, make a magic ring again. For this tail, just chain one and then after that let's start round one. For round one you will have to make a total of six single crochets into the magic ring. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the ring, pull the yarn, and then yarn over and pull through the two loops, and you got one single crochet. So repeat making this until you get a total of six single crochets. When you finished making 6 single crochets, pull the tail and you will get like this. And then after that, let's start round 2. For round 2, you will have to make increased stitch in every stitch. So to make an increased stitch, make the single crochet in the first stitch. And then put a stitch marker on that stitch so you will not lose the track of round 2. To make the increased stitch, make another single crochet in the same stitch so repeat making two single crochets in every stitch and you will get a total of 12 stitches when you reach the stitch marker remove the stitch marker when you reach the start point and for round 3 make one single crochet in every stitch so there will be 12 single crochets in round three and also for round four make one single crochet in every stitch and there will also be a total of 12 stitches in round four so make that two rounds by making one single crochet in every stitch when you finished round four Cut the yarn and make another one by repeating round 1 to round 4 
And for the second one, don't cut the yarn, we will continue making round 5. For round 5, insert your hook into a stitch of the first piece that you made. Just insert your hook into any stitch that you want, just like this. And then make a single crochet. So this is the very first stitch of round 5. So don't, don't forget to put a stitch marker on that stitch. And for round 5, you will have to make one single crochet in every stitch. And you will get a total of 24 stitches. So to get 24 stitches exactly, you will have to make 12 single crochet on each piece. So make 12 single crochet on each piece. So here, make 12 single crochets on the first piece and then make another 12 single crochets on the second piece. So here I finished making the first one. And to continue making on the second one, insert your hook into the new stitch so here this is the new stitch make a single crochet and repeat making one single crochet in every stitch until you reach the third point to start round six remove the stitch marker and make the very first stitch make one single crochet and then make another one in the next stitch so there will be two single crochets and then after that we are going to make a decrease stitch for the decrease insert your hook into the next stitch here and then pull the yarn like this and again insert your hook into another stitch and pull the yarn so you will get like this three loops on your hook then over and pull through all three loops and you made a decrease stitch Again, you will have to repeat this pattern, make single crochets for two times, one and two. And then after that, make a decrease stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn, insert your hook again into the other stitch, pull the yarn, and yarn over and pull through all three loops and you made a decrease stitch. So repeat making this pattern for six times and you will get a total of 18 stitches. For round 7, you will have to make one single crochet and then a decrease stitch. So to begin, make the very first single crochet in the first stitch. And then put the stitch marker on that stitch again. And then after that, make a decrease stitch. After the decrease stitch, repeat making one single crochet and a decrease stitch. Repeat this for six times and you will get a total of 12 stitches. And when you reach the start point or the stitch marker, chain one and leave a long tail for sewing. And remember, you don't need to put anything inside the tail or the fins. Now I will show you how to crochet the fins. For the fins, make a magic ring again and this time you will have to make only 5 single crochets into the magic ring. When you finish making 5 single crochets, pull the tail and the ring will be closed. And then for round 2, you will have to make an increased stitch in every stitch. For the increase, you will have to make 2 single crochets together in one stitch. So repeat making 2 single crochets together in every stitch and you will get a total of 10 stitches. 
Don't forget to put a stitch marker on the very first stitch so you will not lose the start of a round. For round 3, 4 and 5, you will have to make just one single crochet in every stitch. For round 3, there will be 10 single crochets and for round 4, there will also be 10 stitches and for round 5, there will also be 10 single crochets. So repeat making those 3 rounds by making single crochet in every stitch. And don't forget to put a stitch marker on the first stitch of a round so you will not lose the starting point. If you want your fingers to be a little bit pointy, grab your scissors and push the first round like this so your fins will become a little pointy here like this. And also when you finished repeating round 5, chain 1 and leave a long tail for sewing and then after that make another one by repeating this round 1 to round 5 and also leave a long tail for sewing. And then after that, I will show you how to sew the fins and the tail on the, on the main body. So now I will sew the tail on the body. Make sure that the tail is in the middle. You can use any kinds of sewing ways you want. But don't forget to secure the thread when you finished sewing and also don't forget to weave in the ends. For the fins, just sew them next to the tail. And you can use the same sewing way that you used on the tail. For the eyes, I used 13mm eyes and I glued them with silicone glue or hot glue gun. Now I will show you how to embroider these white details near the eyes and on the cheeks. This is how I attached the zipper to my pouch and yeah, that zipper I bought was really long so I had to cut it off and I'm using a really sharp needle and thin thread to sew the zipper to my pouch and you might notice that there is a dorsal fin on my pouch and it just looks like a heart and yeah, I followed I make a heart for that dorsal fin but later I don't really like it so I just remove it from the pouch. So this sewing part is optional, you don't need to attach the zipper if you don't want to but instead I will show you how to attach the loops if you can sew the zippers. So please skip this part if you want to just attach the loops instead. Now I will show you how to add the straps and as an example, I will be using my frog pouch because I cannot crochet on the wheel pouch. So make a slip knot first. If you want to make the frog pouch, you can check the tutorial in my channel.
Now attach the loop in the middle of your project. And then after that, make chains. Make a total of 70 or more chains. When you finished making the chains, make sure the strap not to be twisted and then make a slip stitch in the same stitch. And then after that, chain one and cut the yarn and don't forget to weave in the ends. For the small loop, you will have to make 7 chains in total. So now with these straps, you don't need a zipper, you can just tie your pouch like this. And by watching this example, crochet the straps on your wheel pouch. Here I decorated my pouch with little starfish stickers that I found randomly from my desk. And I also added a keychain ring. So now the tutorial is finished. I hope you will be able to make your own wheel pouches. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye!